What is good, everybody? Today, we are finally wrapping up our WrestleMania action figure coverage that we had out in Philadelphia. This is going to be every figure that has not been covered so far. So if you guys have missed these videos, we've covered all the Ultimate Editions. We broke down all of my thoughts on these. So this is, these are news videos. I mean, the other day, we broke down every Elite figure, and it was damn near an hour long of action figure breakdowns. So if you guys missed that video, definitely go check that out. It was every Elite that we saw over WrestleMania weekend, and we broke down every single piece of lore that you need to know about those elite figures over that entire week that we were at Wrestlemania in Philadelphia. You know, I don't really have time while I'm there to sit down and break down the images and all those things. So when I come home, I collect my thoughts and those are those videos. So we did the Ultimate Editions, we did the Elites, and today we're breaking down everything else that was not an Elite or an Ultimate. So we're going to have some main event figures and some breakdowns of some Superstars figures, some play sets, different things, man. So let's shut the hell up and dive into those things. But if you've missed those other videos, man, definitely check them out. But let's dive into our first figures here. We have CM Punk's first figures back after after his hiatus, man, we have his basic figures here. Now, I don't know which figures are going to come first. Is it going to be these basics? Is it going to be those elites? Which I do believe that all black figure is going to be a top talents figure, apparently, is going to be the thing. It's going to be a top picks figure. But here we have two different basics. You have his sort of Wolverine gear, and then you have his pink and green, it looks like. I guess that's supposed to be red, maybe, or maybe I'm wrong. But, I mean, these are fair, I guess. They're a reuse, similar to Cody Rhodes, right? As soon as he returned, they pumped out some of his old basic head sculpts on some new gear and called it a day. Got it out really, really quick like, and I understand that. You know, they're going to do that for Punk, and I'm sure it won't be any different with different releases. They're going to get him some new head sculpts, but they're going to they're gonna dip into that, you know, that bucket a little bit and get some of those old head sculpts. It just makes the most sense, and I'm sure when we get more repeated elite figures or re-releases, we're going to see that same exact thing, but we also got to see the Royal Rumble basic. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a heritage basic or something like that, but I do believe this released. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say this was already a previously released Punk, but I like this bearded head head sculpt. It looks a lot like the Elite One with a thicker beard. I don't know if this is going to be a brand new head sculpt or not. I, I was there at the panel and I can't remember exactly what he said, but I do believe this is when... I, is it the is it Royal Rumble 2010? I, I can't remember off the top of the dome. My mind escapes me this morning. My mind is just a piece of shish this morning. But this punk looks good. I'm definitely excited to get this figure, especially if the head sculpt looks good. You can fix up other punks, older punk elites in your collection that maybe we don't have just yet in elite form. That's that's definitely what you'd like to see. So we will see what we got there. But let's get into it, man. We also have a look at the Lowrider from WrestleMania 39 with the Rey Mysterio basic figure, which I like. I like this a lot. This is something that a lot of collectors have been asking for for a very long time. You have the Lowrider. You could put this with Eddie Guerrero. Now, obviously, it does have the Rey Mysterio wings or whatever on the sides. I don't think that's going to slow people down. I guarantee people are going to use this as their Eddie Guerrero display. But it does have the hydraulic system. It's got the different things going on on with it with the Reckon we've seen. I feel like I, I've heard some people downplaying the Reckon line and things like this. I really like the Reckon line. I think it's awesome. You get the Slambulance. We've had the bikes. We've had the forklift. We've had all these awesome vehicles. And I think this is another great vehicle to add to the collection. One that a lot of people have been waiting on. Of course, like I said, you know, it is a modern, it's got modern logos on it, which is fine with me, but it does have the Rey Mysterio logos on it from WrestleMania 39 from his entrance. But it doesn't really bother me. I think that this could be a good base to customize. You know, there's some crazy customizers out there that could really make this into an Eddie Lowrider, but people are absolutely going to put this on display with their Eddie figures. They're going to use it in the Ruthless Aggression displays. It's going to be a thing, and I think it looks good. I like that you have two different, you have a front cab and a back cab. I like that you have a front and back seat. It's not just one row of seats. You get your steering wheel in there. You have the hydraulics in there. You can launch your Rey Mysterio figure. This is an awesome set. This is a great set. This is great for modern collectors and throwback collectors, and I think that's probably what they were going for, right? Of course, there's kids that know who Eddie Guerrero is, but I think you can tap into more of that modern market, especially younger kids too. They're going down the aisle, they see the car, they're like, oh, it's Rey Mysterio's car from WrestleMania. You guys can let me know what I'm thinking there, but car looks good. Car looks good. It looked good on display. This is a fantastic piece. I am very much looking forward to this. Definitely going to be grabbing this one. And then another one that I swear to God, I probably got like 752 comments or people asking me what I thought of John Cena, the invisible basic or the see-through basic, what have you here. And this right here is something that I pitched a while ago and I don't know if they took that. Maybe they already had it in their brain. I'm not entirely sure, but I pitched this to them a while back, and it has come to fruition. We have the see-through John Cena figure here. Now, I did say, I think I said elite figure, or I just mentioned we need 
need a see-through plastic John Cena and you know pitch the idea for it and here it is in the plastic and I like this a lot now this is an obvious thing that Mattel probably was going to do anyway I think that this was probably already in the pipeline and maybe they just didn't tell me about it this is a great looking figure I love this I think this is everything you like to see I like that the clothes you can see but the skin is see-through but I think they could do a version and it may have even been a really cool chase variant if this is a basic figure imagine if they had this as the regular version and then the chase version was everything was see-through the hat the shirt the armbands I think that would be great and that's another thing that I also pitched to and I'm not sure again if they listen to me or if they already had it in their brains but I said that they needed to add the sculpted sweatbands to these figures as well add them to the basics because it it makes people want to buy the basics so you know attires we don't get in elite form or ultimate form or something like that if they're on a basic and they have the wristbands on there and I mean absolutely if you can get the hat throw the hat in there too but you know people are going to be more incentivized to buy basics if they have those sweatbands sculpted on there because people want to convert them into elite figures but I would have liked to seen this as an elite, but added articulation and all those things. This is an easy cut for me, and maybe even a few times over. We'll have to see, but I love this. I love this, John Cena. This is beautiful. It's something I've been wanting. I kind of wish the eyes were were blanked out, or that the whole head sculpt was see-through, and not, not that you can see the eyes. I think that makes it a bit weird, so I may have to paint over that, or do some silver surfer type shish. I don't know what I'm going to do there, but I don't like that you can see the eyes. That does bother me, but I love this figure. This is fantastic. Love it. Love everything about this been wanting been waiting on something like this i thought that maybe we'd get an exclusive or something weird like a walmart exclusive see-through john cena elite or something but this works this checks the box for me i like it a lot so we're going to take this john cena basic and i'm going to be purchasing this for sure maybe even get one minute on card or something but i love the john cena basic see-through this is great you can't see me brad looks good to me i like it a lot we also have python power Hulk Hogan. Now, Hulk Hogan's basics are better than anything you'll see. He's got the classic bicep rotation, single jointed arms. I like this head sculpt. I think that you could fit. This is a great figure because you could just fix it up. You know, you could take this figure, put a bandana on it, put a different head sculpt on it, and you have a, a great looking Hulk Hogan, even if you don't fix it up. But I think putting a bandana on it would really throw it over the top because of the Python power shirt. But he has the, you know, the new articulation combined with the old articulation to make this essentially a damn good figure. So, you know, Hulk Hogan's figures are some of the, I just don't understand why does, why does his figures have this top notch, but, you know, nobody else does. Why can't some other guys get some treatment like this? And uh, honestly, why doesn't every figure, every figure in the basic line needs to have that classic articulation with the classic single jointed arms and all would be right in the world. I think basics would take another leap. So I don't know. And this is the same price point, which makes no sense. But I like the sculpted shirt. I like the Python power. A lot of people are going to be looking forward to this Hulk Hogan basic. One of the best basics that was probably in the case, to be honest with you. So this, this Hulk Hogan looks really damn good. We also have a great looking basic here. And it is... The deco is pretty shotsy. The deco is pretty shotsy Blackheart here, but it's it's not very it's it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess, but we do have Seth Rollins in his his cheetah print or leopard print in blue. And I like the fade in the hair. I can see the fade back there. The head sculpt does look pretty good. This is the Elite 109 head sculpt for the most part. However, this is a figure that should have been an Ultimate Edition, man. This should have been an Ultimate Edition. I don't know why they would do this. They always do this to Seth Rollins, man. You take his colorful gears, you throw them in the basic line of the damn main event line, and then his elites and ultimates, they gotta be in black gear all the time, or gold. Like, give us a... Dude, this is one of his best gears in the modern era, and they gave it to us in basic form. This should have been an elite, and it could have been an ultimate edition with his big old fur coat like Ric Flair, man. Can you imagine how beautiful that would have been? But instead, we are getting this in basic form. Now, it does... It, it may be worth the cop. I might buy it for the knee pads and the head sculpt. I don't know. We'll see. If I see it in person, Person and it's just looking really good on the shelf. I might purchase it, but I gotta say, this would have been so much better as an Elite or an Ultimate Edition, but you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. We also have these other basics here, and I can't remember if this is a main event series. I don't think it is. I think this is just a basic series, or maybe it is a main event series because that, that uh, Jey Uso is supposed to come with a Roman Reigns, and then that Austin Theory is supposed to come with John Cena, which is also in this display. But this Jey Uso is okay. It's, a, you know, it's not nothing to write home about. It does have a lot of its tattoos on there, but the attire is very blah and flat. You do have like these shoes on here that look 
look like elite shoes to be honest these may be elite shoes but the Austin Theory gold is kind of flat but we have seen this figure we saw this leaked out a few like maybe a month ago it is in that flat gold gear from WrestleMania 39 pretty decent might use it for the knee pads and the head sculpt for sure basics have greatly improved but there are some different things they can do here but this Roman Reigns and Rock Championship Showdown Pack it is going to come with the Undisputed Championship title belt doesn't look that great here looks very flat and the WWE logo doesn't have any black in it so you're going to have to customize that to make it accurate but that is another way to get the championship I'm sure some people won't care but it's definitely worth noting and this Roman Reigns in promo gear I might get but you know it's the same damn man bun head sculpt it's the it's the 1000 day reign which should have been the elite this should have been the elite they should have made this attire into an elite with the track jacket the undisputed championship the man bun faded head sculpt don't know what they're doing there should have been a thing should have absolutely been a thing but i am gonna probably buy this pack not only for the championship i do want to get a championship in there even though turnquist makes way better belts and you know we have that in the collection already i'll buy it you know customize it try to fix it up and make it look accurate but this roman reigns his his promo gears are still good in basic form it's just damn that should have been an elite man but we also have a braun breaker and roman reigns i think this is a braun breaker and seth rollins two pack it's like a championship showdown pack, but they didn't put them with the guy they're coming with. So this Braun Breaker up front with Roman Reigns, that Roman, I think, comes with Jey Uso. And then, or maybe that that Rock, that Roman that's up there with the title comes with Jey Uso, and that Rock comes with that Roman Reigns on the bottom. I think that's the case. But the Braun Breaker wearing the Seth Rollins championship, hate to say this, but I think the basic or the main event version or the championship showdown pack version of the new world heavyweight title that Braun Breaker's wearing looks better than the elite version. It's not as shiny and metallic. It kind of looks pretty good here in the case, in the basic version. I actually like the way that looks a lot, so that may be something that you look into. If I see the new titles on display or on the shelves, I'll be going to grab them, you know, because, you know, at least you can have the championships. I think that's the way to go, and, you know, the main event figures have gotten good enough to actually pick up and pose around in things. They're not perfect by any stretch, but they're miles better than they used to be, man. I'll always be thankful for that, but we also have a Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser 2-pack, and again, I don't think, I don't know if these are actually, I, I want to say, doesn't that Gunther come with a different figure and then or this may be something that comes together but this Ludwig Kaiser is the chase variant basic and I don't know if that's the regular chase variant basic or if they're re-releasing that in a two-pack which would kind of be crap to be a, a chase variant basic and then plug it into a championship two-pack but nonetheless you do have some new figures here and then we also have warrior and Ted DiBiase and now that I'm looking at this warrior I think that's the same warrior from that same basic wave so maybe maybe I've got it mixed up some of these may be already out I'm pretty sure people already have that warrior in their hands but we also have John Cena in the green gear and like I stated, you know, they're giving him the hat. He's still got the damn You're Killing Me Smalls hat on. It's got the long-ass bill. It's it's a sculpt that we saw last year at WrestleMania 39. I would like to see them change that. But these work for cool basics. I think these are solid enough basics to have in your collection, right? It's got the shirt. It's got the armbands in there. You can remove those armbands and put them on your Elite if you want to. You could even remove that head sculpt and put it on your Elite if you want to. Now, the hat will be secured on there, but it is an option. And then we do have the green suit Ted DiBiase, which I think looks amazing. Even if we do have it in elite form already, it's a beautiful looking basic. I like this basic a lot. Any figure in a suit looks pretty money in basic form for the most part, unless it's the damn gigantic chest Corey Graves mold, which still we need like a slim fitted athletic fit suited body, but I'll still take this Ted DiBiase. It looks damn good. And then I think the regular version of the Chase variant is going to be the one in black. So there is that. But we also have this terrible looking Liv Morgan. I do not like this Liv Morgan. It's like a Chucky head sculpt. It looks like to me, it just looks very, I don't know. It reminds me of like a chipmunk or something like that it doesn't really capture Liv Morgan's likeness but this looks like a basic that I think is this not the same one that's in a battle pack already or maybe this is the one with Ronda Rousey I'm sorry man championship showdown packs and different basics kind of run together for me but we do have a gold and black Rey Mysterio hate this head sculpt they've seen we've seen this head sculpt like 1200 times beforehand but I do like the gold on this I do like the gold we'll have to see what comes of it but I do like everything but the head sculpt on this Rey Mysterio basic even if it is kind of a plain Jane figure and I want to say this might be the figure that I tried to get in the fan takeover ultimate edition but they ended up going with the debut ray that's not even debut ray but yeah this is a this is solid enough we have a black and gold ray mysterio here and we also have a mankind basic which i think is pretty good for the for what it is you got the tie hanging down right there it's a solid mankind basic i don't think it's anything to shatter the earth with but it's a decent looking mankind and then we also have this cane now this cane's been out for a while and it's been re-released a couple times over and i think it's even in the top picks this may even be the top picks and even if it's not i can't stand 
man, this Kane face sculpt, I think it looks nothing like Kane. It looks like the soiled it SpongeBob head sculpt is what it looks like to me. It looks very much like I soiled it, soiled it. He looks like he soiled it, and I don't like it. I don't like this Kane basic whatsoever. I think the potential's there, but the execution of the head sculpt, which is what matters the most on basics, is where it fails me. So there is the Kane basic. And then we also have Hot Rod Roddy Piper in the t-shirt. Pretty decent looking release here. Not my favorite head sculpt for Roddy. This is the, I think it's the WCW head sculpt from his Legends figure that was from a couple years ago or something. Didn't like this one. Don't really care for the head sculpt there. And then this Kane basic with the dual sleeves is pretty good. It would have been cool to see the left gauntlet sculpted on, much like the right gauntlet. But it's a good enough basic. I think if you see this on the aisle, it's a good enough looking basic for a display. You know, the only way you can really get this in elite form is the ringside exclusive Undertaker as Kane figure and then head swapping it with the Ultimate Edition. And we are getting that in the From the Vault series number two. So if you don't want to do all those loops and bounds, you can pick this basic up, which is, I mean, solid enough. It's not going to compare to the Elite, but it, it, it could get the job done for a display option for you if that's the case that you want to go for. But then we have I'm Your Mommy with the championship here. Very outdated basic. It might do well just because it is Rhea Ripley and she does have her tattoos on there. And it does have the I'm Your Mommy shirt, which is something that a lot of people want. But it is those damn Ronda Rousey boots and basics and whatnot. I don't know. This might be a pickup. I just hate this head sculpt, so it's going to be difficult for me to pull the trigger if I see this at retail. But we might see. We might see. You know, we might see. I do like when it does have the... I like the t-shirt figures. The t-shirt figures are fun, and they uh, they kind of give you a different look there. Any promo gear. But we also have Stone Cold Steve Austin with a stoner to AJ Styles. This AJ Styles is kind of hard to see. And some of these figures are difficult to see, and I don't even have a photo of every single one because of the different angles and photos that were posted. But we do have White Brace Austin here, which is something a lot of people have been wanting again in their collections. I think that's been done once or twice before, but it does have the smiling head sculpt. It's got the white knee braces that people are going to want to fix up their figures with, so we do like to see an Austin figure. And then this was a really cool figure here that's interesting because he has the John Cena boots. Now, this looks like they're using Uso's lowers on this Cody Rhodes, but it does have the sleeveless hoodie Cody with the Nightmare logo in flames with the regular head sculpt, and it's got Braun Breaker in the crossroads, which a decent looking pose job right here. But this Cody's pretty sweet. If I see this at retail, I'm definitely going to pick this up. I like the, you know, the sleeveless hoodie that we saw in his Ninja Turtle Elite looks really good. And this basic is good enough for a basic. I actually like this basic a lot in terms of a basic figure here with the sleeveless hoodie. Again, promo gears and things like that are always money in, in basic form, I feel like, especially with the new added articulation. But we also have a, I don't, again, I don't, I can't tell if these are regular edition basics. And these may actually already be out. I think that Karrion Cross was being sold at WrestleMania, if I can't remember if I can remember correctly, but we also have a Sheamus here, kind of bare bones, but a pretty on-the-money Sheamus, you know? I know he's not maybe as shredded as that nowadays, but it's still a good-looking Sheamus basic if you want the run-of-the-mill, you know, Sheamus figure. And then we also have the Kevin Owens basic that's already out on shelves, I do believe. You have Kevin Owens here in his WrestleMania 39 championship shirt, or like the night after WrestleMania 39 here with Sami Zayn. And then we also have Gunther with the Imperium figures, and I'm pretty sure these are already out. I got this Gunther because Amazon sent me the wrong damn figure while ordering Tri Tiffany Stratton. And that arm that's sticking out of the side right there on the on the image on your left is actually Tiffany Stratton's arm from that same wave that they, you know, sent me the Gunther. And then I did find Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser at retail with that Tiffany. So uh, I've been getting decent looking basics at my retail store, so that's good. But we also have this Shayna Baszler, which is at my Walmart currently. It'll probably be there for a while, but it's a decent looking basic for what it is. I just don't think Shayna Baszler's figures are going to be flying off shelves at this juncture. And then we do have another shot of these figures here. I really like this Seth Rollins. I wish this was his Elite figure from Elite 112. We have the white, black, and gold. Really wish that was his look. I wish that was the look that they were going for in his Elite 112. But we also have a Rey Mysterio here in yellow. You have John Cena from WrestleMania 39, which again, I do believe is paired with that Austin Theory that was posed with Jey Uso. But it has painted on bands instead of the damn sculpted on bands, which really would have helped the sell of this figure. But he's got his forces on. It's an okay take on that. But I think getting him in the full garb or getting him at least with sculpted on bands would have helped the sales of this figure because people could buy it and upgrade it into an elite but of course that did not take place here it is painted on but then we also have Caden Carter and Katana Chance pretty solid figures here I like the silver on the attires the attires look a bit flat but at least you know they do have tattoos head sculpts are good so that does help these figures cases but I might I might buy these if I see these at retail it's not going to be something that I overpay for but I do like the look of the basics in terms of the paint but just the sculpting is so flat they just look cheap man a lot of these basic figures look so cheap because of the sculpts really and they have like no details really and that's that's probably where 
where a lot of them fall short, to be honest with you. But the next figure we have is this zoomed-in shot of a, of a Dom, because it does have the She's My Mommy shirt with Rhea Ripley on it, so I know a lot of people are probably going to want that in their collections. That might be one of those pickups. Again, promo gear, he's got a lot of his tattoos on his wrist, like he has no wrist tape, so it does have his tattoos exposed. That's something to pick up right there. Uh, but that is our last basic figure. We're moving into the Superstars figures. We do have a couple razors here, which I really like. You have the light blue attire, which is a beautiful looking figure, very toyetic, and then he does have the long tights razor, which is a unique look. Can't believe we don't really have that in any other form besides this Superstars figure, but it's still beautiful to see. I do like it and everything like that. I love the Superstars line, man. I really do. I think they're very unique, but I can't remember which one's the Chase and which one's the regular edition off the top of my head. But we also have Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Pretty cool accessories and different sleeves. I like that the sleeves are cloth. I think that's so unique. And you may even be able to put that on an Elite figure or something, man. Make an MDT figure and put him a sleeve on that's got zebra on it. That might be something cool. I don't know. But we also have Rey Mysterio, which is okay. It's that same damn cursed attire. This is cursed attire, superstars. Rey Mysterio, everybody that knows the lore. But I like this cloth vest. It may be something you could put on an Elite. That's always something I look forward to with su superstars figures is can you take their accessories and put them on Elite? And I know, obviously, there are cases where that can happen. I'm saying when I first see the figure, I think to myself, ooh, I wonder if that's compatible. I know a lot of them are, but that's one of the cases here where we'll have to see. It may swallow a Rey Mysterio, but maybe it'll fit on a different guy that you could use for the uh, blue and pink tassels. We also have a Brother Love retro figure coming. He's got the accessories. Very good looking prototype right here. Great out. Should be good though. I'm sure that the paint's going to pop off with the white and everything, so that should be fun. But we do have a Brother Love retro, which is really the only new retro they showed off, which I thought was interesting. But for some reason, my photos are all mixed up. But we do have that Brother Love. And then we come back, we have more superstars. We have the Kurt Angle in the back. And then we also have Tatum which we saw in the Legends Elite, which looks pretty good. I like this, this shoulder piece here, which I think will fit on his Elite figure, which is something I'll probably try if I don't turn mine into an Elite custom of some kind. He also comes with his hatchet or his tomahawk. And then we do have Kane with the cape, which I think is a t is an interesting take because he does have his black and red here. Way after, you know, the cape was even a thing, and I know that he never really even wore the cape. I'm saying that this attire with this cape is not something that happened, but I know they like to mix and match just to have some cool things out on the shelf. It's a toyetic thing, even if it's not historically accurate, which is something we talk about sometimes on the channel. But then, to finish it up, we do have our big boss man here with the shirt and belt, which I think is pretty cool. I think this is a nice take. I would like to see them do something like this with an elite or an ultimate boss man. Will we ever get an ultimate boss man? I don't know. I think that's something that they could definitely play around with, but we'll have to see what comes out of that. But I think any cloth goods, man, I'm always open for cloth goods. I'll never get sick of that. So, that's something that I think Mattel should always implement. And they've definitely done a way better job of implementing some sort of cloth goods into all of their different figures. However, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up every single figure that was not an Elite or an Ultimate from WrestleMania. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of all these figures down in the comment section below. And we have finally wrapped up all of the coverage. To my knowledge, to my knowledge, I did cover every single figure that they showed off between the Ultimates, between the Elites, between the Basics, all those different things. And I don't have an image of every single figure they showed off in terms of the Basics. They didn't get, you know, really into it, into the weeds of it. However, it was still cool to see all these things on display and break it all down for you. But I had a blast out in WrestleMania and I'm still trying to get the damn vlog edited, man. Those vlogs are just, there's so much footage and I, again, I didn't have a filmer and things like this, so it does make it a little bit more difficult to edit when I'm doing those things. So hopefully that will be out very soon, but we are working on tons of projects behind the scenes, man, and hopefully we can get those out sooner rather than later. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know where you stand on all these figures down in the comment section below. You agree with the takes, you don't like the takes, I'd like to know all those things, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, man. Appreciate every single one of you fellows over there. Just posted up something for them to poll about just today, so that'll be something that I'll have to keep an eye on, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>